Hello everyone, welcome back to Kuku Camp. Today we are jumping into something super important for anyone applying to graduate school all over the world. The statement of purpose or SOP for short. I've got a real SOP from a Kuku Camp fan and we are going to go through it together. Okay, I'm going to highlight a good part of the SOP, what could be improved and how to make sure your SOP stands out. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the SOP. This one is for a master's program in chemistry at Kukokem University. I've intentionally omitted the name of the school for this person, okay? And I've also omitted some names, so please bear with me. I'm going to read through it first and then we'll begin the breakdown. From an early age, hey, Ghana for me, the BIA, me, Yakwada for me, and I'm doing science. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. From an early age, I've been captivated by the remarkable power of chemistry to elucidate the molecular foundations of life and to advance human health. My passion for organic and medicinal chemistry in particular stems from the central role in developing new therapeutic agents and transforming scientific discoveries into practical solutions for complex health challenges. After completing my Bachelor of Science in Chemistry at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Ghana, I'm determined to deepen my expertise in these fields to pursue a master's degree in chemistry at Kukukem University. I'm particularly drawn to the university's rigorous curriculum, outstanding faculty and collaborative research environment. During my undergraduate studies at KNUST, I developed a strong foundation in the principles of organic chemistry synthetic chemistry and medicinal chemistry. My thesis focused on the production of biodiesel from used vegetable oil through transesterification, where I explored the physiochemical properties of biofuels, demonstrating my ability to design and conduct research independently. This project allowed me to hone my skills in analytical methods such as High performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, GCMS, and other spectroscopic techniques, laying a strong foundation for my future endeavors in organic and medicinal chemistry. My interest in organic and medicinal chemistry grew through various professional experiences including my role as a quality control chemist at the Ghana Water Company. Here, I developed and validated analytical methods to ensure water quality and safety, which reinforced my understanding of chemical principles and analytical techniques. I also worked as a research scientist at the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, where I gained valuable experience in environmental monitoring and purification of deionized water further refining my research and laboratory skills. These experiences have solidified my commitment to advancing my studies in organic and medicinal chemistry. I'm particularly intrigued by the challenges associated with designing and synthesizing small molecules that can selectively target specific biological pathways, a crucial aspect of developing new drugs for diseases such as cancer neurodegenerative disorders and infectious diseases. I'm also interested in exploring the potential of natural products, chemistry and polymer synthesis in drug design and delivery. Coco Chem's chemistry program is the ideal environment for me to achieve my academic and research aspirations. I am particularly excited about the opportunity to work with distinguished faculty members such as Professor Susu Enso, whose research in synthetic organic chemistry aligns closely with my interest in developing new synthetic methodologies and bioactive molecules. I'm also keen to collaborate with Professor Susu Enso 
who has made significant contributions in the field of asymmetric synthesis and natural products chemistry, areas that are critical to medicinal chemistry and drug development. Working under their guidance, I'm confident that I can make meaningful contributions to ongoing research while developing the skills necessary for a successful career in academia or the pharmaceutical industry. Additionally, I'm drawn to Coco Chem's University for its commitment to fostering a collaborative and inclusive research environment. I believe that the diversity of perspectives and experiences is essential for scientific innovation and I'm eager to contribute to this vibrant academic community. I'm particularly enthusiastic about the potential to engage in interdisciplinary research. Leveraging my background in analytical chemistry and my passion for organic and medicinal chemistry to address complex health challenges. My earnest desire to pursue a master's degree at Coco Chems University is fueled by a deep-seated passion for discovery and commitment to using chemistry to improve human health. I'm confident that the rigorous academic training, state-of-the-art research facilities, and collaborative opportunities available at Okokem University will provide me with the tools and experiences necessary to excel as a researcher. I'm eager to immerse myself in this environment, working with esteemed faculty, and contribute to advancing the field of organic and medicinal chemistry. Thank you for considering my application. I look forward to the opportunity to be part of your esteemed program and make significant contribution to the field of chemistry. Sincerely, first name Coco Kim, last name Coco Kim. Wow! What do you mean? The trail when you brought for the papa papa. Why we brought for the group of partners? But anyway, let's talk about what's really working in this SOP. First, this SOP does a great job of showing passion. You can clearly tell that the writer loves chemistry and has a particular interest in organic and medicinal chemistry. This is very important because, you know, the graduate schools want to know what you are genuinely interested in the field that you are applying for. Okay? Another strong point that I noticed is that the applicant has a strong, relevant background. The writer talks about their bachelor's degree from the university and their thesis on biodiesel production. This shows that they have hands-on research experience and they are familiar with instruments like HPLC and GCMS. The writer also did a great job telling their goals with a program at the Coco Chem University. For example, they mention specific faculty members they want to work with, like Professor Asuso and so and what they do, which shows clearly that they have done their homework by reading what the professors are into and how the program fit their interest. Now let's move on to some areas where this SOP could be improved. One thing I noticed is some repetition. The SOP mentions passion for chemistry several times, which is important to mention how passionate you are about the program, but it doesn't need to repeat it. We know you have to cut your things short a little bit and make your SOP more concise. So for example, paragraph way, passion, ewaha. Osaka passion ewa has a another passion. The writer is very passionate about the program, but one thing I yana it doesn't need to repeat it. We get it. You love the program, you love chemistry, but you have to make your things short. Another area to work on is to be specific with your research goals. The SOP talks about interest in drug design, but it could be more specific. For example, what kind of molecules are you looking at? What diseases are you, you know, hoping that you can work to kill? The more specific you are, the better the admission committee can see where you fit in into their program. Personalize their statement with specific examples or goals. For example, making phrases like making meaningful contributions and developing the skills necessary for a successful career. They are so common. Obia Kribi. Obia Raka say, oh, I want to make meaningful contribution to your program. I want to be successful. That's why I want to come. But if you write these generic phrases or sentences, it doesn't make you stand out. So 
you know if you tell them you want to have a successful career that's why you are coming to their program they don't these sentences don't tell as much about you as an individual because the admission committee normally they are very interested in who you are here is how i would suggest fixing these issues i mean again these are my opinions it doesn't mean they are perfect or they are the standard for graduate school applications but if i'm the one writing it these are some of the things that i will put in it like, first of all i will combine some of the repeated points about passion and experience and make the sop more easier to read and understand next you have to clarify your goals so the first paragraph you know you have to tell them what you are interested in so if you're interested in a particular molecule or you're targeting a specific disease you have to mention it this does not only show that you know your stuff it also makes your application or your sop stand out okay so for example if you add a statement you have the passion for drug design and synthesis in the first paragraph then we know you know what you are interested in because the first paragraph is missing the main intent of you going to graduate school in abroad or wherever you want to go the next paragraph or adding a sentence that shows that you have applied the knowledge goes beyond you having the skill so over here the only thing i will include is that if you use these skills in a diverse setting so that we know that you are proficient with the with the skills that you are mentioning that you use in your undergraduate project yeah this is also a good paragraph where you mention you know the, your experience in other industry places or your experience as a quality control chemist and um, as a scientist in atomic energy commission the only thing i'll add is that if you apply this chemistry to address real world problems because all that i can see in this paragraph is that you are telling us you've gained you you've gained you've gained you've gained valuable experience being a scientist you've gained valuable experience being a quality control chemist but aside from you gaining all these skills what have you used the skills to do you know if you can show example that would be excellent this paragraph mm -hmm. is also good i will keep it because it's showing how appreciative you are to the graduate school committee for looking at your program and then you're looking forward to hearing from them about your applications the only thing i will do here is instead of saying making significant contribution to the field of chemistry i would rather talk about specific skills you will gain and how these skills will and how these skills will help you achieve your goals you have to reorganize your your sop paragraphs and make sure they are they are flowing on a logical flow pattern you start with your interest or, or motivation you know it, it doesn't always have to be that when you were a kid you, you love you love science and you you saved a, a dog from dying so you want to be a medical doctor in the future you know i mean your story may be true but all these stories are so popular now so you have to try and be creative and stand out with your application um, document or your sops so there are so many ways of introducing your sops you can start with the research you're doing you can start with the work that you do right now you can start with your passion your motivation so normally you start with your motivation and then the second paragraph probably will be your experiences and background you know what degrees you have what knowledge you have what background you have what research have you done and then you will show evidences of your expertise or your background Evidence include like publications, a job or some awards or some. And then the next paragraph, you can talk about why you want to work with a certain professor in that school. You know, what kind of research interest, what are your, what type of interest do you have in the research that this program does and why? And then the next paragraph, you you know say a sentence or two about why that specific graduate school and then the last paragraph will be your conviction what do you want to do after graduate school what what are you going to do with the skills that you will gain it's not like you are going to make significant contribution to the school you know 
uh, graduate school uh, i don't want to say they don't care about you but gra grad school really care less about what you would do for them instead of what you would do with the skills that you will gain that's what separates your sop from the others because majority of the people will say they want to make contribution to the school but that's not that's not the focus the focus is that you are going to school you're going to gain knowledge some skill set so you have to figure out okay what are you going to do with the with the skill set after grad school that will be your conviction and that will be the last paragraph for your sop so yeah that is it for today's review Remember, your SOP is your chance to show who you are and why you are passionate about your field. So you have to highlight your strength and make a few key improvements. You can create a very a genuine, short, about 500 words, one page SOP that really shines, you know. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have questions or need help with the SOP review, you can drop a comment below. You can also contact ADL, ADL Consult, a very excellent um, consult that help students that are interested in going to graduate school, particularly in the US and Canada. So yeah, you can also check them out. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.